Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is one of one, but you can call me seven. What remains of Edith Finch? I have no idea, because I'm trying to figure out what's going on in this game. You guys are trying to figure out what's going on in this game, unless you already know, in which case don't tell me. We have to figure out what happened to the rest of the Finches. We have encountered the stories of one, two, three, four of them thus far. And we have quite a few to go, so. Let's get going. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Oh, yeah. There's an ear in there, right? So this is a wine... A wine cabinet thing, and I think this is the only other place we could go. Um, from Sam and Calvin's room, so... Undo the latch. Push my way out. Oh! We're back on the, uh... Wow. I wonder if I... If I'd looked a little closer, do you guys think I could have seen that? So we've been in Molly's room. It's we funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Oh, are you trying to tell us to go down to the basement? I mean, we could definitely do that. I need to see what else is up here, though. So we've seen Molly's room. We've been in Walter's, obviously. Is there anything under here? I don't think so. We've been in Walter's room. Um... We've been, have, we haven't been in all of them, have we? Yeah, we've been in Sven and Aid, or Edie's. Uh, yeah, this is the bathroom, right? Yeah, we've been in here. That's fine. Uh, this is Calvin and Sam. Yep, we have been in here. So I guess we have been everywhere on the upper floor, haven't we? And then we just saw Barbara's. I guess we just, wow. You really can see through there, huh? Um, let's see. Can we Mom get up must here? Must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Okay, that's fine. So it looks like we're going I down to the basement. I wonder if that comic was right about there being a key inside the music box near the basement. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Fine. <sighs> can I close that door? I kind of hate it. After Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got pretty sick of salmon. Except our cat, Molly. I see. Oh, I Maybe I should go check out that music box right. down by the basement. All right. Guys, what's to my right? I heard a creaking. <sighs> I hate it here. All right, let's go down. See what's going on down here. Okay. Just kind of looks like a normal. Oh, I kind of hate it down here. I'm gonna be real. I I actually really hate it down here. Just Mom like, said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. That's the fridge where uh, our I boy thought was maybe hiding. She was hiding presents. All right, I'm just gonna. Lean back a little bit. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. I don't know about you guys, but I can't see anything. I remember asking Mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Does that mean down here? Oh, this is like a bomb shelter! If there's a pattern in all these stories... I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Oh my god! So yeah, his room was cleared out. This is a bicycle. I see. Oh, is there something up there? No, it's just lights. Okay. I guess he liked his model trains. He was working on... Yeah, another one. He was painting and... Is that? Oh, that's, um... That's for soldering, right? I think it is. Looks like he cooked for himself down here. Oh, wow. He... He died a little bit older than everyone else. Marking stuff off the calendar, the radio that doesn't seem to really be working. 
postcards, different spices, uh, a bathroom, and a place to dry dishes? First aid kit, shaving cream, and just so many non-perishables. Lots of beans. This is bizarre. Alrighty. What's going on in here? Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Oh. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. Oh. This is kind of nice. After a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. This guy's voice. He's got a normal guy voice. Having a schedule. Living for today. Canned peaches. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. Oh. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. So, so... Is this him trying to get away? Like, this is him trying to protect himself? So he got as far away from anything that could kill him as possible? I think that is the case. Also, the years did change, right? Pretty sure they did. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. <laughs> more, uh, more canned peaches. And then one day, everything just... 2005. Stopped. What do you mean everything just stopped? Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. Oh, oh, oh. I'm done waiting. What? I have to leave while well, I still can. Oh, even deeper? Hold on, can we open the curtains? No. There's beds up there. God, I'd get so claustrophobic in here. This would... This would suck. 30 years spent down here trying to stay away from whatever is killing your family. I have to leave while I still can. Oh my god, what's what what is down here? An escape tunnel? Oh, books, I see. Ways to keep yourself entertained, I imagine. I know it's out there somewhere. The curse? Is that what you mean, Walter? Whatever killed Barbara. Yeah. And Molly. Brown rice. Lots of other food. And Calvin. Oh, okay, a sledgehammer, I see. So this is, oh, is this where all his trash is gone? Guess that makes sense. Okay. Maybe this is all a mistake. Did you die in a, in a cave in maybe? But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Oh. I mean, yeah, man. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. Yeah, there's no looking back. It took you 30 whole years to 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 I'm be going ready. I appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. How do you know when month. you're going to die? Oh, I see. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face.
Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Huh. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Oh, well, alrighty then. Don't really have anywhere to go but down. Oh, sheesh, guys. What the hell? Alright, let's go down. Get down there, Edith. Come on. Nice. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Well, I mean... A little scary to consider, no? But if she never told me about an uncle under the house... I can only imagine what else she was hiding. That's true. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to make the same mistakes she made. Well, she's gone now, right? Trying to bury something that's still alive. Oh! Oh, she had to steal herself. Now that there's only one of us left. Or maybe two. Maybe two? I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. I mean, but you now were... I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Yeah, you were a kid when this all happened. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. Well, a lot of it. We made it real. Oh. 1952 to 2005. Huh. Maybe we believe so much in a family curse that we made it real, huh? And there are chairs in the trees. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Okay, well, we're heading down. Oh, we saw this earlier, didn't we? Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Or does the story need to be told, Edith? It's up to you to decide, really. But I thought you should know about your family. Your family? Edith, are you dead? Edith, are you dead and you're writing this to us? And the history you're a part of. Is that what you meant when you said maybe two of us? Oh god, what even is this? Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. Huh. Is that worth much? And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. Oh, this is, um, this is, uh, Calvin's swing, isn't it? Yeah, it's all wrapped up around the branch. Yeah, it was over here. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't see that before. So... I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. That makes sense. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It's a good question. You make a compelling point. Oh. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but. The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Lucy, Derpy Jr., Derpy, Daisy, Charlie, Tucker, Burpy, Coco, Chirpy, Furpy, Zoe, Lurpy, Zerpy. So, it would have- I mean, they got headstones for them, which is a little insane. Uh, that doggo. Uh, dead doggo. Oh, there's more. Shotzi. Shadow, Oliver, Bob, Christopher. Bailey. A sign that we cannot see on a frog? Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I see. Molly Finch died just after her 10th birthday. 
Calvin Finch. April 25th, 1950. So was also 10? Hadn't turned... Or no. Was 11. Sven... Edie died the... the I mean, the, the latest? Is that true? Lewis also died in 2010, and so did Edie. And then... We're still alive, so... Walter Finch? Why is that? Hold on. Oh, I see. Okay. Walter. Barbara. I know there's a pattern that I'm missing. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Oh, I see. I see. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, is that the... Is that the ship? Hold on. Am I missing anything around here? Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. Hold on, we gotta... Yeah, we, we gotta look. We gotta look. We gotta look. This is Odin, huh? Their floating house. Alright, what's going on over here? Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Oh my gosh, it is the house. Oh. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Sam Finch. Her Gus dad had Finch. been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Gregory Finch. I see. What... What do you do, right? Like... What are you... What are you supposed to do? To protect against something like this. Milton Finch. Oh. Never found him, right? So... She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Sanjay Kumar. You're not a Finch? Lewis Finch. We don't know all of these stories yet. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Well, let's get up here. I'm perplexed and worried and a little sad. Is this a treehouse of sorts? We're looking back on it now. If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Huh? What? Uh, 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 just get on the roof, get on the roof! Oh, God. We're pregnant? What? Huh? Oh. I get it. Okay. Everyone is dead. Um, except for us right now, Edith. And Edith is writing to... Her child. Uh, son or daughter, I don't know. But... Wow, as a, as a, as a teenager, huh? How did you get out? Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. How did you get out? How did you make a sort of normal life for yourself? I don't understand. How did this all happen? They were both pretty intense. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. He moved out of the room. Right, right, right. So this is Calvin's brother. Sam. He's got a letter. This is a guy who became a Marine. He has the same picture, yeah, as the one in their room when they were kids. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Sure. That's fair. 
S. Finch. It looks like he was decorated. There's a cane. Yeah, it looks like he was decorated. Let's see, what else is in here? Oh, photography stuff. Some lenses. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Oh, what? By joining the military? Interesting. It's interesting how these are, like, frozen in time as well. Like, you know what I mean? They're, like, snapshots of a different era. And different, very incredibly different vibes, too. I wonder how they built all of this. But, anyway, this says, and it's an airline ticket? Study fun facts about Baltimore while you fly. Sparrow Airlines, of course. K. Finch. 2141 Fireweed Road, Orcas Island, Washington. That's clear on the other side of the country. These are... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Did Sam get married? It looks like it's possible, yes. Okay. Thick envelope. Oh, it's a bunch of pictures. Use this envelope to order reprints and... Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm hmm Am I going to have... Perfect. It's oh. going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? This is really cool. This is incredibly cool that we get to take the pictures that Edith is looking through. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. <laughs> He's just a dad. So wait, so... Smile, Dawn. So... Okay, got it. So he was a father. Pictures, okay? Just be careful. A camera's older than you are. Oh, wait. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Who's... Okay. This is Sam. Sam had a daughter. Right? <laughs> I, I... Is this... Is this... Oh, I, guys, I'm a little confused. I'm trying to piece it together. I'm trying to figure it out. You're right, it? Dad. It's starting to clear up. It's still freezing, though. Oh, some pretty birds. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's this guy that I want to take a picture of for sure. Sorry, guys. I want to get it in focus. Aww. There he goes. Is there anything else to take a picture of? Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Oh, I see. <laughs> Hold still while I take a picture of you. I definitely won't be moving. Are you done yet? Does it sound like I'm done? <laughs> Nothing quite like being outside. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't even realize that he was there. My bad. Um, all right. Odd picture, but I'll take it. Oop. A little more gas in the tank, I guess. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. Okay. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Calvin. Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. Calvin? I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Interesting. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Oh, buddy. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. These are nice photos. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Dang. All right, let's take a picture. Check the map.
There we go. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? All right, be nice. Sheesh. Ooh, ooh. Dad. Oh, good eyes, Don. Before yeah. you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Where? Dad, oh, there she is. I just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. I don't know if. All right. Uh... Now I feel a little bad. Uh, does she want to do this? Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. I can hear her breathing. Keep yourself squared up. Elbows. Great shot, Don! Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh god! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? <laughs> Oh, oh! Sorry, Don. Just gotta reset the timer. Guys, this is a little messed up. Dad, it's twitching. I think it's totally so normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. Oh. My God. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Whew. Holy crap. That is a lot to handle. Goodness me. Oh, God, I feel awful after that. For more than one reason. What a cool way to tell the story, though, right, guys? What a, what a crazy good story. Good Lord. Wow, I feel awful. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Is there a way through here? Oh, slide it out. Okay. Oh, are we walking through the roof of the house now? Is there asbestos up here? This place is pretty old, isn't it? Oh, MREs. Yeah, this is military stuff, all right. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Oh. I guess they did. Did the women of the family survive the longest? No, that's not true. Molly and Barbara... Died quite young, both of them. Finch control. Golly. Oh, Gregory. Oh, God. What is that baby thing, the statue that I'm looking at? Oh, it's, it's, it's Gregory. Okay, he's a little baby. It was a little scary. The mouth was a little big. 1976, 1977. Oh, my God. God. Gregory. Teamwork, respect, strength. Is this, uh... Gus, Gregory, Dawn? Is this, um... Oh, oh, oh! I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... 1969, 1982. Four poem, four Gus. This is so okay. I understand. Is Dawn is Dawn Edith's mother? Oh, oh wow. Um, okay. Emergency evacuation plan. The emergency assembly area has passed the mailbox before the old chain link fence fence on the hill. That's where we started, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's where that's where we started. Gus, Dawn, and Gregory. No playing outside without permission. No answering door for strangers. No messes after dark. All chores before dark. Respect others. Okay, 
Okay, what's this? What does this say? Race flag at 7.30 a.m. Breakfast is at 8. Quiet time is at 11 p.m. Duties. Dawn, sweep and trash, gust mop, mow yard. Greg, be a baby. Routine. Jump rope 100 times, jumping jacks, push-ups, crunches, run to mailbox and back. Why were they conf- is that like how they tried to stave off death? Oh my goodness! It's a way to climb up and everything! And those are the jump ropes, said. Oh wow, this is like so, so weird and dystopian. Alright, let's start with Gregory. Alright, let's see here. In the circuit court of the 5th Judicial Circuit, in and for Orcas Island, Washington, a divorce contract. The marriage of Kay Carlisle and Sam Finch. Petitioner is the wife and the respondent is the husband. Divorce contract, Sam Finch. A lawsuit has been filed against you. You have 20 calendar days after this. Summons is served on you to file a written response to the attached complaint slash petition with the clerk of this court. A phone call will not protect you. Your written response, including the case number given and the names of the parties, must be filed if you want the court to hear your side of the case. You may lose the case. Your wages, your money, property may be taken thereafter without further warning from the court. <sighs> Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Oh, we're a baby. I don't like this. And also, okay, I see now. So Sam is Edith's granddad. So it would seem Sam was the father to uh, Dawn. Dawn is Edith's mother. I think I've connected those dots correctly, but please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. Can I? <laughs> what can I do? Oh! 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 Oh. Is that? I want to knock the letters off. Oh, there are ducks to get. Let me get the last Y, please. Yeah. Now we've got all the rubber duckies. Oh God, did, 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 did our boy Gregory drown in the tub? Oh, I see. So what are we seeing here? Can we pull the plug, I wonder? <laughs> Look at him spin. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this is actually really fun. <laughs> what an act of imagination. Swan Lake, huh? Is this Swan Lake? Am I stupid? I feel like it is. Oh, oh, are we gonna get the whale in? Is that is that the idea? The whale's watching. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! It sure made him happy. Oh! Now everyone's here. Oh, we flipped him! Yeah! Whoa! Uh-oh, I hear arguing, but that's totally fine. Look at all these dudes. Oh, oh, oh I gotta get up there. So many dudes following us. Oops. I know how silly it sounds. Yeah. Oh, the bubble bath. Oh, I worried about a baby being too happy. Oh. But I could feel 
time slipping away. What do you mean? Sorry about that, Gregory. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 let me on. Oh, no. I wish he could have told us about the world he saw. I thought she pulled it. Oh, I thought she pulled it. everything are they all gonna try and pull the plug save our lives but I know what happened wasn't your fault I'm sure he's happy and he'd want you to be happy too Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. God. Yeah. Nothing to say about that one. That's just tragic. Oh, sheesh. Right in here, we've got, um... Poems for Gus, huh? Looks like the guy liked to fly kites. Uh, he died when he was... What, so... He was 10, so he died when he was like 13? Is that a mohawk? Looks like it. Yeah, skateboarder. For poem for a Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard. Before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Oh, I see. You fly high in the sky. Man, kites are cool. Oh, I gotta be careful. <laughs> so this is a... Oh, this is a wedding. I wonder whose wedding it is. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Why was Gus all upset? It was a very agile kite. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom were the words that I know. Oh. Husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Are you gonna try and fly the kite into them, buddy? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, I see. Over here. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. Oh. Dang. Hey, buddy, that's not good. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Okay. But did Gus keep... Get struck by lightning? The rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Oh! God! The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder! I guess you don't want a wedding to be ruined, right? But are we, are we still flying a kite out here? I 
I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. Oh. I see. Okay. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. Dang. Okay, well, we've gone up the generations, haven't we? Though it's interesting, have I missed something? I feel like I should have a picture of Edie. I don't know. I'm not sure. We have the whole generation on the bottom here. Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam. Um... Yeah, Calvin, Sam, Walter. Kay was married to Sam, and then they had Gus, Gregory, and Dawn. Dawn was married to Sanjay, and then... Okay, I understand how family trees work. <laughs> they had Lewis, Milton, both brothers that Edith lost, and then Edith herself. I feel like we should have gotten a picture for Edie and Sven, but... I, I don't want to think that I missed it. I sure hope I didn't. It's a little hard to explore and see, you know? Like... I can't tell where I'm supposed to go all the time. I'm just trying to explore as best I can, you know? Let's see, what are these? Oh, I... I see. They're sympathy cards. Alrighty. Well, we've explored all around here, so let's go up the climbing wall. My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. I don't blame her. I really don't. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Yeah, I mean, Walter... Walter got far away, huh? Oh, wow. Oh. I see. Holy Bible. Dawn and... Oh, Sanjay. She spent the summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Look at this computer. Gosh, college application deadline. What's this? Orcas Island High School. Don Finch, senior. Class of 86, 87. Pack, fly to India. Don Finch, 10 ways to teach critical thinking. Religion, science, math, and history. Oh, I see. Relieve, provide, sustain. We're helping hands create safe places. I understand. Oh, all well, the pictures of her working, I see. Cool. Um, Alright, let's see what happened to our mom. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Right. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. Okay. That's fast. But it didn't last. Odin Finch, a history. Oh, by Edith Finch. So it looks like they were homeschooled, huh? To teach and to learn. Written by Dawn Finch. Seven ways to create a fulfilling classroom. Huh. This looks quite modern, really. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Like, like this, this bit here? Oh, it's all sealed up. It's super cool, though. Oh, he went missing, though, right? After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. I see. Oh, look at this place. Looks like a... Uh... Guy was designing things, huh? All on the walls, too. The place is gorgeous. I actually really like it in here. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Yeah. Look at this guy. This guy's really cool. Oh, 
Wow, this is really cool. It's a little pulley system. There he is, Milton, 1992. What does that say? Something? Milton Finch in the magic paintbrush. This, this kid was talented. Very talented indeed. Wow. All right, guys. Well, you know what? Uh, I think this is a good place to stop it. Yeah, before we get a glimpse at Milton's story. Man, this is uh, this is a lot to handle. Seriously. But I've I've, I've been starting. To, I'm, I'm enjoying it more now. I'm starting to see, you know, make sense of everything. There's a there's a plot line I'm following now. I get it. At least a little bit. But uh, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed that. I definitely did. And I will see you guys in the next video. So for now, have a good rest of your day. And I will see you soon. Bye!